Hello and welcome to Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. My name is Kelly and I'm a former wedding planner and blogger and I'm obsessed with weddings. If you're planning a wedding in Ireland, you're in the right place. You're going to learn the tried and tested methods to planning your dream wedding without the added stress. Think of this as your one-stop shop for everything to do with planning your wedding in Ireland. With me, your new wedding planning bestie and a cup of tea. This is Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. Well, happy Wednesday. It's time for another episode of Wedding Wednesdays with Weddings Online. And today we are going seasonal. We're talking all about spring and summer weddings compared to autumn and winter weddings. So this podcast episode is for you if you have not chosen your your wedding date and you're totally open to whatever season you get married in. Or if you've chosen your wedding date, but you want to know a little bit more about some fun things that you could do that are seasonal and specific to spring or summer or autumn and winter. I also have an expert who's going to tell us all about the different seasonal flowers and what you can be highlighting on your wedding day if you're getting married in spring and summer or autumn and winter. So it's going to be a good one. Now, if you missed last week's episode, I had a good rant and it was a lot of fun because I spoke all about things that guests hate at weddings. So I'll drop a link to that in the notes. So if you want to catch up, you can do that. Um, What I really did was I just listed things that I know guests hate at weddings, but things you can do instead of those things and ways that you can make it really fun and enjoyable for your guests. So it was very practical, very simple, and it was meant to equip you and not make you feel terrible about your wedding. Um, So catch up on that one if you haven't listened to it yet. But for today, let's start with spring and summer. Um, So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just give you a list of some amazing things about spring and summer weddings that set them apart from other weddings. So if you're not sure what what season you want to get married in, this might help you make that decision. And then at the end of the spring and summer section, I'll share some seasonal flowers for you and then we'll move on to autumn and winter. And by the end of it, you'll have all the information that you need. So something that I love about spring and summer weddings is that you can embrace the outdoors. Now it's a pretty obvious one, but it's a great one to start with because if you picture your wedding and you picture being in a beautiful garden, um, you know, maybe you want to have an outdoor ceremony or maybe you just want to have amazing photos outside and you want to have sunny, sunny weather, blue skies, green grass, summer and spring are for you. Now, The next thing that I think is amazing, and it goes in line with being outside, and that is golden hour. Now, golden hour isn't specific to spring and summer, but you get a lot more of it in that part of the year. So now if you've never heard of golden hour, I encourage you to ask your photographer. But a summary of it is that there's a certain time in the day where the sun is at the perfect space where the light is golden. It's amazing. And you can get some really beautiful photos. And so as part of your couple's portrait photos, your photographer has probably already thought about golden hour and will factor that into your timeline for the day. But it's definitely a reason to consider spring and summer weddings because you just get more time outside. Now, speaking of colors, if you're very into pastel colors or bright colors, Spring and summer is a great season to embrace those colors. Now, sure, you can get married in winter and have bright pops of color, and we'll talk about winter and colors and things later, but there's something really special about a summer wedding with pastels, with orange and blue and bright green or bright yellow, different shades of pink. If you're into those colors, then a spring and summer wedding might be the perfect one for you. Now, we've spoken a little bit about outdoors, but in particular, having an outdoor ceremony is a really special thing to do when the when the the months are a little bit warmer. Now, it is Ireland, so I always recommend that you have a plan B because you just don't know what's going to happen with the weather. If it gets a little chilly or a little rainy, it's just always good to have a backup plan, even if you're getting married in the heat of summer. Now, thinking about summer and being outside, consider your entertainment options and things that make it particularly summery. So, things like a Prosecco bar or an ice cream cart. What about a s'mores station? Think about all the outdoor treats that you enjoy in summer and now make them wedding-y and do them with your guests as well because they'll love it. 
Now, I love the idea of being outside and what you don't want is for guests to just kind of be standing around. So have some creative seating. You know, you could have beanbag chairs, you could have picnic blankets. Encourage your guests to kick off their shoes and to just relax and unwind outside as part of your summer or spring wedding. Now, I really love the idea of photos on the beach. So if your wedding venue is anywhere near a beach, embrace that and get some really amazing photos with the sea behind you. And if you're feeling a little brave, you can even dip your toes in the ocean, maybe get the the edge of your dress a little wet if you're up for it. It makes for a really fun photo and it really helps to embrace the summer weather. Now, if it's summer, you want to dress like it's summer. So, you know, something like a like a really long wedding dress with loads and loads of layers, you're going to be feeling really warm. So if you're the type of person who's thinking about a short wedding dress or really casual suits and dresses for the wedding party, you can do that in spring and summer. You can be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit cool, and you can have things like hats and all kinds of fun summer accessories as well. But now thinking of spring and summer, you want to know about the flowers, right? Well, I asked Judy Roche from Bala Florists, and she's given us the inside scoop when it comes to seasonal flowers. So why don't we take a listen and see what she has to say? Couples get married in spring and summer have lots of seasonal flowers to choose from, and these are some of the most popular choices. So for spring wedding flowers, the flowers available at this time of the year would include roses, um, Peonies, if they're in season, they're always a beautiful wedding choice. Uh, Ranunculas, Lysiantas, sweet peas, stocks, tulips and lily of the valley. Just to be aware that they're kind of small in size and they're also one of the most expensive flowers. And then for my summer flowers, I would choose roses, hydrangeas. And it's another flower that can be on the little bit of the more expensive side, but it really gives a brilliant impact. Of course, your dahlias, your lysiantus, your delphiniums, your stocks, your cosmos, sunflowers, scabosia and zinnias. Well, thank you, Judy, for that amazing advice on all the different flowers that you can have in spring or in summer. What I'm going to do is I'm going to write out the list of those flowers that Judy has shared, and I'm going to put them on the Weddings Online blog. And so there'll be a link to the blog in the notes for this podcast episode. And so you can have a look. And if you want to take note of those specific flowers that are seasonal, I'll put them in there. Okay, so we've spoken about spring and summer. Let's move on to autumn and winter. Autumn and winter has a very special place in my heart because I got married in autumn. So my husband and I are from South Africa, as you can tell by my accent. And we got married on the 1st of May, which was in autumn in South Africa. And what we did was we had a pink and gold color scheme. And so it was a kind of Um, It was our version of the colors of autumn, you know, the shades of gold. And we had to throw in pink because pink is my favorite color. As you can tell, I like to wear it a lot. Um, So I love autumn. I've been to winter weddings that are really amazing. And I think sometimes people forget that you don't have to get married in spring and summer. You can get married in the colder months too. So I'm going to list a few things that I think are really fun that you can do in these colder weddings that make them super cozy and romantic. One of them is having blankets to keep your guests warm. Now, I think it's really fun to have blankets all rolled up, put in a lovely basket or on each guest's chair so that when they're seated, they can be cozy in in those warm, like fuzzy blankets, just keeping themselves nice and warm. Next thing you can embrace is the mood lighting. Things like candles and fairy lights just add to that romantic lighting. It makes it really easy to lean a little closer and have a nice conversation with your guests. If you want to keep your guests warm, we've spoken about the blankets, but what about hot chocolate and coffee and all kinds of lovely warm drinks? You can welcome your guests into the ceremony with a warm drink, or it could be a post-ceremony treat or a pre-reception drink. Instead of going straight to the Prosecco, you could have a nice warm drink, or you could have a hot chocolate bar with marshmallows and cream and sprinkles and all, all the trimmings. 
Now, if you want to get creative with your confetti, you could do something like snow confetti. It might not actually be snowing, but you can fake it till you make it. You can have some fake snow that guests throw up in the air. Just imagine how magical those photos will look. And now we spoke about with the, the spring and summer weddings about embracing the season and wearing seasonal clothes that are appropriate for that weather. You can do the same with autumn and winter. Now just imagine your perfect winter wedding accessories. So it could be a cozy knit that you wear over your dress, or you can have a fur cover up. You can have a big shawl. You can have a big, like a big warm fluffy jacket. Whatever you choose to do, just embrace the winter and just imagine how cute the photos are going to look with your winter accessories with your wedding outfits. And now two more things that I want to share that I love about colder weddings. Festive drinks, you know, mulled wine is one of them. It's just an amazing way that you can embrace the season and think about the scent that it will release as well. Just think about the cinnamony flavors and scents that will be in the air. And the final thing that I love about winter weddings is toasting marshmallows. How fun is that? It's a very wintry thing because you've got the fire, you've got the, the interactive experience of toasting the marshmallows and it just makes it really fun. And so I really love autumn and winter weddings. And if you are thinking about the flowers and what flowers you can have at your autumn or winter wedding, let's have a listen and see what Judy has to share with us. Hi, it's Judy here again from Val Flowers. So if you're getting married in autumn or winter, there are so many amazing seasonal flowers to choose from. And here are some of the popular choices. So flowers available in the autumn would include roses, amaranthus, delphiniums, clematis, lisiantus, anemones, dahlias, ranunculus, freesias and scabosia. Also, the use of natural or dried flowers such as pampas grass, bunny tails, um, they're becoming very popular at this time of the year too. And there isn't quite as much choice as during other seasons, but there are still lots of stunning options in a range of colours. And one of my favourites would be anemones and they can really take centre stage. For the winter then, um, a few of the choices I would have would be roses, anemones, lisiantas, clematis, erigynum thistle, freesias, veronica and wax flower. Now you could also add wintry touches such as seasonal foliage, berries, pine cones or gypsophila too. So I hope that helps. Thank you. Now, those ideas are so creative, and I just love that there's so many options. So no matter what season of the year you're getting married in, you know that there are going to be some amazing flowers that you can choose to really embrace the season, and you can pair them with your, your theme and your color scheme for your wedding day as well. Now, next week, we're talking all about creative date night ideas for all different budgets. So if you and your partner have been engaged for a long time, or maybe you just recently got engaged, maybe you're almost married, no matter what season you are in at the moment, it's always good to embrace the romance, go on some date nights together, or have a date night at home. So next week, we're going to be sharing a whole bunch of ideas. In fact, I think I've got a list of about 18 different ideas of things for all different budgets that you can do together to embrace the romance. And I even have a special challenge that I'm going to give to you guys. And so you don't want to miss that. That's coming up next week on the podcast. Well, thank you for listening today. The Wedding Wednesdays at Weddings Online podcast is produced by me, Kelly, and mixed, mastered, and edited by Glenn Hartman. A special thank you to this week's wedding planning expert, Judy Roche from Ballo Florists. For more wedding planning tips, advice, checklists, and more, visit weddingsonline.ie.